How's it going guys? This is Sean with Virtual Gladiators again. I am here to give you another tutorial video on how to download and install plugins. Um, <clears throat> there's a few ways you can go about doing it. The best way would be to do this. First, you are going to want to bring up your browser. As usual in this tutorial video, you're going to want to go over to Multicraft or you go to Virtual gladiators.com click on uh, login to control panel it will bring you to this screen um, type in your email that you signed up with and the password that you signed up with hit stay logged in log in then head into uh, whichever server that you own it will bring up your main screen with all your stats then what you're going to want to do, um, there's one of two ways that I do this, and uh, it seems to be the best of ways to do it. Um, first, we'll go about the way that you can do from within Control Panel. It auto-installs it for you and everything. Um, what you're going to want to do is click on Files, go down to Buck Get Plugins. Now, basically, these are all bucket plugins, um, but they're all kind of provided to you, so you can type like Spam. And it'll bring up all the different types of spam blockers, spam killers, all sorts of stuff. And the cool thing about this is, is that whatever, um, say you don't want people swearing, whatever plugin you click on here, most of them will have plugin page. And that's good because you click on that and it'll bring you right to the page where the developers have placed it, which is in bucket.dev or bucket.org, dev.bucket.org, sorry. And uh, it'll give you a brief description on what it is. Now, sometimes with this bucket, I've noticed that it has only most recent versions that it will install. Now, I've run into some problems with my own servers that um, when I do get some plugins off of this, it will um, it will be the newest version. When I'm let's say it's 1.6.2 version, but I'm trying to run 1.5.2. So obviously that won't work. So what you're going to do is you go and click on this plugin page and you scroll down to, or scroll up, where is it? There it is. Go up here to files. You're going to click on that and it gives you all the different versions for this certain plugin. So as you can see, let's say I wanted no swear in my server, but, and it's a 1.5.2 or even higher. The the thing about these plugins is is that uh, even though you see a, a game version 1.4.7 and that is the most recent that they have released this plugin for, does not mean that it won't work. A lot of these plugins that say that it's an older version than from what you're running are still compatible. Um, it basically just takes trial and error, and if it doesn't work, then you're going to have to look for a new plugin. So in theory, this 1.4.7 dash r1.0 should work with a 1.5.2 server not sure about a 1.6.2 because it's pretty updated but uh, it could work as it's only really a chat um, monitoring type plugin so really there's not a lot of stuff that would interfere with it um, maybe essentials chat would if you're running essentials but uh, but yeah that's just basically an example so that's one way you can install it. The other way is you just come right down to here, click install. It'll say installing plugin or installing, and it'll have a little spinner right here. And when that gets done, it'll say completed or installed. And then uh, click on back and make sure you can do this while your server is on. You can delete plugins and then replace plugins while the server is on, but you have to remember to restart the server after you install any kind of plugin. Um, so, and that will install it, start it up, and everything will be good. Then, you know, you get into the aspect of configuring plugins. I'll do a video later on concerning, um, configuring certain types of plugins. Um, uh, let's see. Now, the other way would be to, uh, just like I showed you, you could search it on Bucket. I'm going to go back to the No Swear plugin, just for an example again. Uh, let's say you can't find a plugin you're looking for on um, the buck get. Um, so you go here to bucket and you search. Let's say you're looking for essentials. That's a pretty popular one. Um, 
And of course it doesn't find it. Let me see. Hmm. You might actually oh wait, no, it's not in bucket. You actually have to search essentials manually, never mind, my bad. Okay, anyways, what I was getting at was you go back into the files and uh as you can see the different game versions. And now if you, for another example, if you're running 1.5.2 like I am, um for FTB Unleashed, for example, it's uh I would go for this very top one, the 1.4.7, and it's got the most updated because it was released after all of these. It's the most recent. So you're going to want to click on that. When you click on it, it'll bring you right to the version, and then you're going to come up here and you're going to click download. Keep. And as it downloads, you'll see a little jar file in there. It should be your automatic directory for your computer should be in your downloads is where that should be. So what you do is you just come back into your control panel here, select which server you want it to go in, hit files, then go to let's see FTP file access, type in your password that you use to log in with uh, the multicraft or the control panel, and then uh, from here you're going to click on plugins and then to get this plugin in here and installed you need to uh, and again you can do this while the server's running but you need to click on upload while you're in the plugins folder it will automatically have the directory set to plugins so all you need to do is hit choose file then we're going to go over to my downloads and we're going to see let's see here the no swear plugin right there. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click that. I don't want that in my server, so I'm not going to put it in there. You're going to click it, and what it's going to do, the screen will automatically disappear, and you'll see it appear right here, the name. Um, so that one would be no swear dot jar is what it would be. Then you just hit submit. It would upload it, and then you'd have it uploaded. If you ever wanted to confirm that it successfully uploaded, it will be in here as its original jar file. However, that is, the not that is not the main file. As I was saying before, you must restart after any installation of a plugin so that it can build it. So you're going to hit restart, and it'll restart, do its thing, and then <clears throat> you can go back into your FTP if you need to configure the plugin. Just go into plugins, and then uh, you should find it in here. So you'll be able to just click on the folder, and then you'll see the config and all that good stuff in there and you should be good now there are other ways of installing plugins however it does take a little bit more time and effort to do it if you're doing it through a third-party FTP client such as FileZilla or Windows SCP now it won't take incredibly too much longer but it basically the only time you're wasting is pulling up the program and and stuff. So, I mean, ultimately, if you were to go right off the bat into the third party, it would probably take as much time as this would. But uh, I've always liked sticking to Virtual Gladiators, uh, the multi-craft um, installation of what I just show you showed you. Um, I guess I could show you Windows SCP, which is the FTP uh, client that I use. Um, let's see here. And so we'd... Uh, Basically, all you do is over here in Windows SCP. It's I th I'm pretty sure it's the same for FileZilla. Um, this is this over here is your computer. This right here is your server. Now, if you let's say we're trying to get that plugin in here, so you're going to go to where is it? Local disk. Never mind. That was the wrong one. That is odd. Where is it? All right, so that is weird. Usually, you can select a directory on where that is. Now, I'm wondering if SCP maybe came out with an update. You used to be able to select anything from your computer and drop down it, but uh, it's looking like it's not there anymore. So basically, what it looks like you'd have to do is just put it in your desktop, and then you can just grab it from your desktop, click and drag into your plugins folder, right here. Or you could even double click, open up your plugins, and then multitask. And you can just click and drag it right into the plugins somewhere. Make sure you don't drag it into another folder, but maybe down here with all the other jars. Um, and then hit restart, and it should install properly. But yeah, guys, if you uh, 
if you guys have any other questions, feel free to support, submit a support ticket. I always say that wrong. And uh, feel free to get us on live chat if you guys ever need help. If we're on live chat, we will be more than happy to help you. But if not, just uh, submit a support ticket. And I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it helped out. I will see you guys later. Bye.